Hi, I'm Richard from ITS TV, and today me and Eric from Bosch are going to uh, have a little look through the GKS 190 uh, circular saw mains machine from Bosch. Um, so, Eric, can you just take us through this machine, tell us uh, what we can expect to get out of it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, as you say, it's a corded tool, uh, four plus meters of cable there. So, um, very, very good on the capacity side for a 190. That's a very common blade size. So that's what the 190 means in the model codes, 190 millimeter blade. We get a full 70 millimeters cut capacity at 90 degrees, which is really, really class leading. It's got a, a powerful 1400 watt motor, and yet it's lighter than most uh, other products in, in that uh, power class. Um, the machine itself is self-explanatory. Self Obviously, it's a handheld circular saw. There's a dust port at the back here if you want to hook it up to a cleaner. Parallel guide comes as standard with it. Tungsten carbide blade actually comes with a Bosch Optiline wood blade. Uh, as standard, but obviously it's um, it's a common configuration. It's a 30 mil bore, so there's a whole choice of uh, blades out there if you want to make a cleaner cut, for example, or use it on laminates or, or, or what have you. There's plenty of blades available in that format. Uh, like all our professional circular saws, the product comes without a riving knife at the back, that sort of shark's fin arrangement that some people will be familiar with. That means the tool is plunge ready, so if you want to plunge the machine into a floor to get to access for cables and pipes, you can actually drop the running blade into the material without the riving knife getting in the way. Uh, some people see that as a, as a disadvantage because it's an anti-kickback measure, but these days the risk of kickback is almost nil, mm. and most people take the riving knives off, we found in a recent survey, which of course is illegal to do if it's supplied you know, with, oh, okay. uh, with the product from the factory. Uh, also, the upside of not having a riving knife is that it can't get bent and damaged. It can't cause problems and possible um, injury when it gets snagged in the cut. And the return guard underneath here, which is mandatory, this is the spring-loaded return guard, uh, is super tough on this type of saw because it's completely uh, continuous. It's almost like an angle grinder guard. And we expect this tool to be knocked about and roll around the van and occasionally take a little tumble. Mm. And um, you can really give this guard a hard time compared with a saw that has the riving knife, which needs a slot and quite often made out of mild steel. Um, that can easily get bent and, and, and pr prevent the machine from working properly. So um, just, to, just to show you that you can actually, <coughs> you can really hit that guard very, very hard and, uh, and it still works perfectly well. So um, that's basically the tool. Usual adjustments for um, bevel. There's two wing nuts, one at the front, one at the back, or wing bolts, I should say, so you can bevel the saw over to 45 degrees for right. making bevel cuts, really easy. There's a scale on the front, there's a quadrant on the front, which has got the angles shown. Also, very, very quick to make adjustments to the cutting depth. You have a sing single lever on the back of the handle here, which you lift up. And then you can just adjust the cutting depth. It's quite important to adjust that, of course, so that you get the best finish of cut and you get the best lifetime out of the blade. Again, a lot of people, if they're in a hurry, will leave the thing set at the maximum cut capacity. And um, this, of course, will cause the blade to wear out more quickly mm. and um, deteriorate the cutting uh, finish on there. Um, Changing the blade's easy. There's an Allen key on board for that. There's an Allen bolt in the middle of the blade here. And just at the front, again, red means something on the Bosch products. So we have a little red button, which is a spindle lock. So you can stop the motor from turning when you change the blade. So it's a, it's a basic saw, but it's really rugged. Um, it's certainly um, one of our best sellers and is well, you know, well respected out there in the marketplace. So if it's just a general jobbing sight saw you need with that super capacity, yet still light and manageable, then you need look no further than the GKS 190. Full three-year warranty as long as you've registered the product online within 28 days of purchase. And that's it. Available in 110 and 240. Great. So that's a really nice, solid, robust sight saw. And that's, of course, available now from ITS.